hello there friends I hope that you're doing well so in this video I'm going to show you exactly how to use the Chroma Studio from Razer Synapse so let's say that you have a Razer mouse and you want to set up the advanced uh, lightning effects so from Razer Synapse 3.0 click on your mouse go to lightning and from there you should see effects and advanced settings click on advanced settings and open chroma studio okay so let's see a couple of uh, effects that you can set up for your mouse on the left side we can uh, drag and drop effects on the middle we see the the mouse in my case I have uh, two mouses but I'm just going to show you for uh, this one which is a Razer Naga Hex V2 and on the right side we can uh, adjust the, the effect okay so let's see the the fire effect so usually we can just uh, drag and drop an effect I already have the fire effect it's important to know that you need to select the light areas this mouse has three uh, areas with uh, light the scroll wheel, the side buttons and the logo we can also drag and select all these zones and in this case let's say that we need to pick the, the colors for the fire effect we click on save and as you can see the the mouse already has this uh, fire effect light you can also pick other colors also we can uh, uh, select individual areas like let's say we want on the on the logo to display red and uh, yellow and on the other uh, zones we display uh, cyan and uh, green this is also possible okay let's see other effects uh, I'm not sure how ambient awareness works audio matter I've never used it I think it's related to music if you play music on your computer the light will change uh, depending on the music we have breathing which uh, is also a common uh, effect so never forget to select uh, the areas and let's say we want to use blue and uh, red we can also adjust the the speed of the animation so the colors will change faster from uh, blue to red also slow the the, the light will change much slower okay let's see another effect uh, fire already showed uh, reactive also a common effect here it works for example if you if you press a uh, click the lights will uh, will turn on so this is how reactive works let's see the next one uh, also this one I'm not sure how it works ripple but I'm going to show uh, spectrum cycling so this one uh, looks like a standard chroma light effect uh, so spectrum cycling works like uh, the colors will just uh, loop from uh, green it will turn blue red yellow and so on depending on uh, what you select here 
in this case it will turn from uh, blue to white and then blue again so this is spectrum cycling uh, starlight so this one uh, looks like uh, a flashing uh, light effect we can also increase the, the density let's say to 8 and if we apply we see that on each area the, the light will blink uh, randomly with the colors that we have selected here okay moving on we have uh, static this is uh, a pretty basic effect uh, really nothing to configure much here we can only select uh, a color save and uh, the mouse will remain with uh, that color uh, applied so this is pretty basic and lastly wave also a, a very cool effect so this one looks like uh, a disco light effect the, the colors will just change individual on each uh, zone I think this one looks pretty good we can also adjust the speed at 50 the colors will change extremely fast and lastly wheel also I'm not sure how this one works so overall I showed you all the effects that uh, I've managed to apply you can uh, use uh, this uh, chroma studio effects if your uh, if your mouse is showing that uh, this effect is uh, available so usually you go to lightning and from advanced effects you should see this button uh, clickable you click on it and then you just adjust the effects as I showed you if it's a basic mouse usually this should not be available and maybe you should only have only quick effects from here so uh, in my case I don't usually use uh, this uh, Chroma Studio Advanced Effects I use only the breathing effect from quick effects and I usually leave it to to this uh, dark blue color and second one to, to none and this is because uh, this effect reminds me of the old uh, Razer mouses released around 2010 uh, back then uh, all the Razer mouses had uh, mostly just this uh, breathing with uh, dark blue color except the, the expensive mouses uh, in that time it was Razer Naga Epic it was very expensive was the the basic mouses had only this uh, this dark blue color and because of that I usually just leave it like that but if you want to to change it to something more curf colorful you can always go like this maybe if you have a party and you want to to have some uh, some flashing lights around the house anyway this was uh, the video this is how you can use the chroma studio light effects from Razer Synapse 3.0 uh, if you found the video useful please subscribe and thank you for watching